this electrical issue taken care of. Now. up and that might be all of the core actually. Then the electrical is just, just peeking out right there. So I gotta get that. And hopefully I'll be able to get the the new electrical down there without too much difficulty. Fill these in, fill that in and put the new piece down. Okay, inside now, looking aft. Here's the front hatch. Here's that electrical piece going out. Let me just go ahead and, probably can't see with that light. Anyways, I need to get rid of these clips and this will chase down. And I've got a replacement. I don't have any black coated electrical, but, um, just the white standard marine grade. Hopefully it'll be okay to go to feed it up into that little hole. I got these that screw out. That was not easy, but listen to this. Listen as I move this. Listen to this old wire. I'm pretty sure it's original. It's the sheathing cracking. I think this boat needs to be rewired. What a disaster. Um, so let's see if I can pull this through. Oh yeah, that was easy. Okay. So now I just need to clean that up and see if I can get the other piece, the new electrical through it, and then button it up on top for weatherproofing. Let's see what I can do to get this. that hole if I don't have to. Let me see if there's anything outside to catch, to grab onto. Yeah, there really isn't, but um, I've got a file. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and expand that hole a little bit. I'm going to fill it in anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... The new electrical connector includes this. I'll sit right here. Oops. Yeah, over this way. But it's a crimp type, and I had to have a screwdriver that would get down into there. And my jeweler screwdrivers are not here with me, so I thought the project was going to end. But my neighbor happens to have a Leatherman with a nice, fine screwdriver. So. We get to continue on with this. Yeah, that looks good. 
Okay. This was kind of a pain. Because this also is round and not really, in my opinion, set up for a two wire setup. Tone here. The butyl tape here. You see how interesting it is in the warmth. Okay, rid of that. That end does not look healthy anymore. Seriously, it's just a little, it's a little crazy. This one little job requires a bunch of electrical tools, undersized jeweler's tools, uh, a drill, appropriately done, I would have epoxy all over the place here. Um, And among miscellaneous tools, like you know, this round file and so on and so forth. Uh, it's really crazy the amount of stuff that's required. Okay, let me go ahead and push this through. I don't think this is on enough. These are number eight or something, and I need number six, it looks like. So I gotta go find some screws. Anyway, so I can give this a go and see if this actually works. Well, I can't really finish up the outside without a drill and without what I believe are number six stainless steel screws. I don't have those. I'm a little irritated that they would go with number six instead of just making the thing just a little bit more robust. Let's get some air in here. We decided to do it the cheap way. I mean, what do I expect? Anyways, let's get rid of this. And then um, we'll put this, the rest of this in and see if the light actually works. Okay, so then we have a little bit light, a little bit of light here. Here's the carnage with respect to that old piece of wiring. And unfortunately, let's see if I can get you propped up here. Um, it's the internal 
wiring too. See this. So, uh, okay. So, so what's going on here is the reason that's a concern is that there. I get this old wiring here, and it's passing through this small little space. I'm going to take this trim piece off to get it out because I do not want to hurt this this piece. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not attempting to rewire the boat uh, just now. So, And then this is going to kind of come down into the battery compartment where it's all wrapped up and so forth. So I'm going to have to unwrap that and hopefully don't damage all this other stuff. We'll see. Well, this piece right here is in solid. I suspect the uh, the force of the of the mast is compressing this, and I don't want to force it. I don't. That's not what I want to do today. So, um, so I think these will slide well enough. I hope. And so I'm just going to try to take them out like this and see what happens. This is a little bit of a surprise. You can see what this is right here. I'll have to find out where it goes, but it is common household electrical cord. It's cord, it plugs in electrical appliances like a light in your house. So I gotta find out where that goes and what that does because that is not cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, it got worse. Um, the electrical wiring is original. There's no negative bus bar. Everything is essentially just soldered together. But now with the original wiring, all of these, all the sheathing is falling apart. I mean, in on the on the just in my fingers everywhere. Um, I mean, even on the on the positive side, uh, it's just. It's total garbage. And then you've got that house wiring. Uh, so, um, this is turning into a lot more than I expected. Of course it is, um, but gosh, that's not what I was hoping for. So I've got to reevaluate and figure out what's going on here. Um, you know, uh, Really, I should just, I'm gonna get rid of my reading glasses here. Uh, really, I should just bite the bullet and um, and rewire the boat just from top to bottom. But, you know, if I do that, there's going to be something else that I run into. For example, let's have a look at the, um, we've got electrical at the depth meter, so let's have a look at that. Well, honestly, I can't tell. Um, I gotta, I gotta chase this around a little bit, um, and I will find out where the find out where the electrical that uh, that home electric goes somewhere up that way. Um, one of my concerns about rewiring is here. Uh, there's a liner in this boat, and the electrical goes in side of that. I don't know where it comes out. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Alright, so they just ran it in the side there. Um, okay, so anyways, like I said, I gotta, I gotta think about this and see what I'm gonna do and uh, maybe just take a break and get a snack. <laughs> 